Hello everybody and welcome. Well, today is a fantastic day, wow. It's so warm. I think it must be about 85 degrees today. So, kind of feeling the heat a little bit. Uh, what I'm actually doing right now is I've got some of those, um, those uh, bowls you saw me doing in the last couple of clips. And um, I've got some white slip, and I've got a brush, and I'm applying some of the white slip with a brush to these bowls uh, in their unfired state. They're still leather hard. Um, so I was just bring the camera in a bit closer so you can see. Yeah, so in that bucket there, you see. This is a, it's fairly thick, isn't it? Um, you need it reasonably thick like that. Now I've got a couple of brushes here. This is a, like a homemade brush made from a corn broom, um, which I may or may not use. And then, then this is a, um, just like a regular painter's brush, except that I have, I have doctored it here on the ends, cutting into the bristles. So as you can see here, it's a little bit, it's got some gaps here in the end, a little bit. So it's not such a solid block of bristle right up to the end there. It's a little bit it's, I've, I've broken it up a bit by cutting into it like this, you see. So, and um, the bowls that are, are ready to do now, these ones, um, as I say there, as you can see by the colour, they're not yet quite going dry, they're still dark as it were, still full of dampness. And um, to these, I'm going to apply this, this white slip. So, so, ho, ho, let me have a look now. La, la, la. Gonna get this. Um, I'll try it from that angle, see how it, see how we, how we go. So we're going to take one of these guys, we're going to hold it by the foot like that. It's got a fairly pronounced foot, this, so it gives you one something to grab hold of. Okay, we're going to load the brush. And I'm going to wind my wrist up like that, you see, so I can unwind it. So you can see the kind of effect we get due to this kind of brush, which is given this rather uh, furrowed. You see, you need a bit of thickness in the slip. Otherwise, you don't get the sort of furrows. Now don't worry, if you have a go at doing this, you may, you may think you're making a mess of it, but in all honesty, sometimes it comes out a little better than I, than I thought it would, and sometimes it comes out not quite as, but you know, you just got to be a little bit open-minded about this you know don't be too sort of 
Ooh, it's got to be exactly just so because this part of the part of the joy of doing this kind of decoration is is the freedom, you see. It's like clouds in the sky. We're painting a picture. So I'll put him down over here. You've got to develop the, the technique a bit, you see. The first few that you do, you're never really going to be, you're never really going to be quite there, you know. You see, you've got to go, you've got to start, start and sort of go around. So you've got to wind your, wind your wrist up a bit like that, because the, 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 as you do it, you see, I'm, I'm unwinding, you see. Now we just need to loosen up a bit, don't we? Sometimes we're a bit stiff, aren't we? La, 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 la. They look like grasses, don't they? Grasses growing in the field. Have you got grasses in your field? Each one a little bit different maybe, you know. The thing is, you see, you've got to be not too frightened to make a mistake. A lot of us are frightened, aren't we? We're frightened we're going to mess it up. And then what? Oh dear, we're going to have to start all over from scratch. Well, just make a lot of pots and then you'll have a lot to practice with. Sometimes I may do it, I may take more than one strike at it. I may strike it a few times, you see. Don't want to do it too many times. The thing about this is being spontaneous and it's more alive then, isn't it? So wind your wrist up, you see, like that. If you do that, you see, you manage to get, you'll get them all the way around. Da -da -da. Less is more. Less is more. What I like about this kind of decoration is you get the sensation of getting a lot of movement there, don't you? A lot of like breeze, wind, sky, water, something happening, you know? It's not static, is it?
let's do something different on this one let's get let's get some some sort of uh some movement going kind of not exactly horizontal but maybe slightly at an angle That can happen, you see. <laughs> that can happen. <laughs> Never mind. We'll go over that one there where we made a mess. All is not lost, you see. Now, we, with a sponge you can clear up a little bit here. Just a tidy. Now we can do something different here on the inside as well. Let's try that. Try some more of that sideways, that wind that's blowing, that wind that I need right now. <laughs> Come, O oh wind. Come, O oh wind, from the four corners. Okay. Sometimes the best decorations are done rather quickly without too much, uh, don't intellectualize things too much, just be spontaneous and quick you make a mess of a few but you'll get the feel of the brush and and the and the and the slip you know the same thing could apply to to using pigments you know to decorate with you don't want to be hesitant that's what i'm trying to say hesitant hesitancy is is going to be your enemy doing this kind of thing once you start, follow through, don't hesitate. And, and as you do it, you will learn the movement of the brush and what works, you see. So, oh, there's a few of them. There's a few. Each one is different.
And these all I will, what I plan to do is actually do an iron oxide uh, over here with my, with my iron oxide pigment here. But I won't be decorating them and quite yet. So that's decorating with white slip, otherwise known as hakami, I believe in Japanese or Korean. So Go doing, have a go at doing some of this. I think you'll enjoy it. It's kind of liberating, and uh, let that hand just, you know, don't be too stiff. Let it flow. Okay. Hey there. Keep practicing. See you soon. Bye bye. La 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 la. Ooh, bees everywhere.